Good morning, sweetheart. Hey, I got for you uh, my first watch review after moving to a different hall. Uh, so, I don't really have a place to make video here yet. But it has to be first time. One time, so <laughs> uh, this is it. Today we have a Longines L7-9965 model, watch produced uh, in the 90s, to be exact from 1990 to 1999, and this particular model was first bought in 2000. So it is 21 years old watch, and it is almost in pristine, perfect condition. Uh, as you can see, uh, sides are highly polished. It really, it is, maybe I didn't see so many watches 20, uh, 30 years old in this kind of condition, but uh, the polishing on the on the edges is, is really great. It's really almost like Zaratsu from Seiko. Uh, so it's, it's extremely good quality. Probably nowadays Longines watches you can find this kind of quality. As in many brands as Breitling, Longines and many others, you cannot even compare the quality uh, of the watches from the 80s and 90s to, to nowadays productions. It's, it's really a lot worse and really it's no point of comparing it to be honest. Uh, maybe there are some exceptions from it of course, but in general the quality is much lower, maybe the production cost, uh, cost of everything is rising, so they have to cut some costs, uh, maybe it's because of that, maybe uh, a lack of passion, maybe today uh, smart watches and stuff like that uh, are getting more and more popular watches getting less and less popular so they have to uh, downsize their production the cut their costs and stuff like that so maybe this uh, this is a reason for it this watch is a classic elegant watch uh, 38 millimeters without the crown so not so big i'll show you right away how it looks on my wrist nice size as you know, I have 70, 70 and a half centimeter wrist, so relatively small. It works really nice, and this is, it is quite thick, so it has some wrist presence, and you don't have to worry about that. This watch is, of course, an automatic chronograph, and the main feature of this watch is the bezel. Uh, this bezel, if you look closely, it looks a little bit like a gold plated one. But I asked even Longines directly and they confirmed me that this model with this serial number have this, has a solid uh, 18 karat gold bezel. Um, also the design of the bezel, you can see inspiration here from some Rolex Zenith watches from the past. Uh, maybe that's why this model wasn't that popular and the price of it uh, isn't that big. Uh, I will say the fair price is from uh, 700 to 2000 euros, something like that. You have to keep in mind that this is a Swiss made automatic chronograph uh, with 18 karat gold bezel. For many other companies like Breitling or Omega, the price will be twice ma as much uh, at least. Um, uh, dial itself isn't uh, that thrilling. Uh, although it has applied indexes and they catches the light a little bit uh, but for me if you have some big element like here the bezel in uh, 18 karat golds you don't have to have many other things uh, to other blinky and shiny things because it is uh, shiny by itself and uh, it is enough to have really good wrist present uh, this watch has 21 millimeters look, so also a little bit thicker uh, if you compare it to, to only 38 millimeter K size. Um, it also adds a little bit of wrist present because of that. And here you have a great quality uh, genuine alligator strap. And this is also a good example that uh, strap, probably uh, nobody did anything with it and it will need some oil and something like that to look almost like new uh, but as you can see it is in extremely great condition almost it's hard it was probably close somewhere here 
uh, but it is really even hard to find uh, the spot from the buckle to be it's being locked on the pillow or something like that on the wrist um, uh, so if you have great good quality uh, alligator strap it will last really really long time and as you can see here this is like 20 years old uh, strap uh, although it wasn't wear that much as you can see here if, you, if somebody wear it much this the side here will be really less visible um, but but still uh, the quality of real genuine crocodile strap is extremely good and you'll be really happy to do with it for a really long time buckle is a standard longine buckle nowadays Chinese making fakes of them and they are quite cheap uh, this is a really nice design simple but uh, interesting so if Longin uh, give some kind of part of production to the Chinese, they exploit it uh, as they usually do. Um, crown sign with the Longin logo, back uh, with more of satin finish. Longin used this kind of back in many of their productions, so you probably seen this kind of back in the past. Okay, so here we have a watch, and I want to show you also the accessories because I bought it full set from this watch. And here, first of all, you can see like we have genuine letter. So if after 20 years. You have many cracks and, and some stuff like that on it, but it by itself has this vintage look, and you can see here the accessories, like for example this tag, price tag. I really like this kind of stuff because it, it has so this vintage vibe to it, and and, and really uh, I'm a passionate. Uh, really, watches are love of my life, so. Uh, I really like, I like this kind of small things to, to to the watch itself. As you can see, nice motto, times the winner by Longin. And I just want to show you this because I think this is uh, something interesting and not. It's really hard to find because if you even find this watch, uh, f find it with the accessories is almost almost impossible i will do a small close-up maybe also for you to see the watch better as you can see even the satin finish on, on the looks is really great Fini finishing of the watch of this watch is is extremely good as you can see me now with the camera the back, deep engravings as I said maybe it's because of the condition of the watch but I was really highly impressed with the quality of fit and finish of this particular model okay so that's probably it Longin L79965 automatic chronograph from from the 90s uh, this particular model from 2000. Thank you for watching. Have a great day everybody. Bye!